Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. He is absolutely amazing and I pray that you are allowing Him to be God in your life. I want to start off by giving a shout out to my grandchildren, my uh, oldest uh, granddaughter. I call her my princess. They all have a special place, but my princess, I want to give a shout out to her. Um, I guess she wanted to call me last night, um, but I was in the middle of teaching Bible study. We had virtual Bible study, not in the building. And so, um, uh, I talked to my daughter a little earlier and my granddaughter thought that, uh, I was just watching Bible study online. She didn't realize I was the one doing the teaching. And, uh, so I just thought that was so funny. Um, so we're going to have some time to talk this afternoon and, uh, when they get in from school, uh, do a little, um, you know, talk on the phone and possibly do some um, FaceTime. Uh, but I wanted to just say hello to my grandbabies. Absolutely love them. And um, she just didn't realize and said, oh, uh, Nana is looking at somebody else teaching on uh, virtual. She's not the one teaching. But yes, yes, yes. On Wednesdays, uh, I do the teaching at... Uh, the church that I am the assistant pastor of, which is Faith Outreach Deliverance Church in Bridgeton, New Jersey. And I'd like to say thank you for those who were able to tune in on last night as we begin to talk about the new man. And since I was already here, I went ahead and put that Bible study teaching up on uh, our YouTube channel for the Balance of Life and also for the Facebook page for the balance of life. Um, I always love to get a little laugh and so uh, I think I just need to do a little bit more, um, spending a little bit more time virtual and, and, and having those conversations with my grandchildren as much as I can because um, they don't get to see me in person that often but I do try to talk to them a couple of times a week and and get some face time in there as well. Um, so, but to God be the glory. Listen, today is actually my Friday. That's right. Today is my Friday. Uh, we do radio Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 12.30 to 1 o'clock p.m. And on Fridays, we share from our classroom. We have a podcast entitled From the Classroom, and we are currently sharing... Uh, from our course on discipleship, sharing from the textbook, Becoming a Disciple of Jesus Christ. So be sure to tune in on Friday mornings at 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, via our podcast from the classroom. Also, Saturday mornings via podcast, uh, we do, uh, it is via Podbean, and it is connected to a iHeart channel for Angel Ferguson Ministries, we do a in-depth Bible study that Saturday mornings. And so uh, just have quite a bit of things going on when it comes to ministry. But uh, this is the place in which we have been called into. And we absolutely love it. Amen. On yesterday, we begin to talk about watch the meaning of the times. And I did... Uh, indicate that I wanted to come back and talk about that some more. Um, just paying attention to what's going on and not to be distracted. The reality is a lot of things that are going on are scary. Um, but when we are praying, and this is my belief when we're praying for God to reveal truth and to uncover hidden sin, he does it. 
Now, it does not happen the way we think it should happen. The uncovering does not transpire the way we think or even in the time that we think it should happen. A lot of things that are being uncovered now, someone has probably been praying about this for a while. And it is being manifested now. Yesterday I did share where three years ago, January was three years, laying across the bed, just meditating and relaxing, and I heard deceit is no longer ashamed. And I'm going to tell you, from what I have seen over the course of these three years, the spirit of deceit is not ashamed anymore. There is no shame for those individuals who are under the influence of that spirit to speak things publicly, to do things publicly, and they're not ashamed. That spirit is no longer ashamed. And we cannot be fooled into thinking that what we see is not true. It is very true. It is very real. Now, the most important thing that we can do is pray for those individuals who are under the influence of the spirit of deceit. Not to get caught up with what's going on in the world. But pray. We should be praying for the return of Christ. Now, no man knows the day nor the hour in which he will return. But we should be praying for his return. Also, let us not pick sides. The believers of Christ are supposed to be on the side of righteousness. And we're not supposed to engage in a political warfare. We're supposed to be on the side of prayer, praying that whom, whom God wants to be in that whatever office, it could be local, such as city, county, state, federal, whatever. Praying for those individuals who sit in that office. Praying for those who are around them. Praying for the decisions that they make. Because one thing we do have to realize that God loves his creation but he does not like the sin. He does not like the sin in the lives of the individuals. So we could keep that in the forefront. Keep prayer. I'm talking, I'm not talking about picking a side of who's right and who's wrong. I'm talking about truth. I'm talking about making the right decisions. I'm take, I'm talking about um, clarity, giving them the strength to handle such a task. That's the kind of prayer we need. But we're in a time right now, and I truly believe, I believe that and I, I don't know when, but I truly believe that individuals were led to pray. And this is the unfolding. Now it's up for this generation of believers 
to pray about deliverance. We have been, we have been shown the wickedness and where they have been placed strategically in position. And we have to pray for the removal. I believe also that things that are revealed now, uh, th this isn't new. It's just that it was hidden for so long, discussed privately. But now it is out in the open. I, I said it yesterday and I will continue to say it. If you are an intercessor, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you your area in which you should be praying about. Our education, educational system worldwide needs to be covered in prayer. There are individuals assigned to pray, not just the parents. There are intercessors, there are prophets assigned to pray in every demographic area of the world concerning the schools and which our children attend, rather from the from the daycare to college. Now every single day, there is something coming across the news or the headlines or whatever concerning our children and the school. The enemy wants to wipe out the next generation but those who are called to intercede please 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 be on your post can you imagine what the prophets went through during the time of the old testament even those apostles in the new testament they had to run for their life And not just from the commoners, from the kings, from the priests, from the false prophets. Jeremiah was slapped, put into prison, left to die. Micah was slapped by a fellow prophet. They were put into dungeons. The apostles were beaten and put into prison, martyred. They knew the danger of what they were called to do. Yet they did it. Jeremiah's own family plotted against him to kill him. When he was cast into a dungeon, left to die, a Ethiopian who was there for service came and pulled him out. He was given permission by the king. He went to the king. He said, he's going to die. But they had a task. They had a job to do. Jesus said to Peter, Upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Also, we have scripture No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rise up against me in judgment thou shalt condemn. And so when we are interceding and praying, And when the opportunity comes where you have a platform, whether it's behind the podium or you have a radio ministry, podcast ministry, true believers 
are to share the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Warn the people. Intercede and pray. Yes, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. There's this song that is song somebody prayed for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. And so pray for those individuals. Don't just pray for the victim. Pray for those who are under the influence of to cause harm to others. Pray for their deliverance. If you are just tuning in to the balance of life, I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. I thank you so very much for joining us today. Our key phrase for today, see, I did not forget, is life. L I F E. Now, I'm going to tell you what I've been doing because I want to keep a record of the key phrases that we have given out because what I'm going to do is at the end of the month, I'm going to make a request for all of the key phrases. Yep. So I write it down, the key phrase that we give every day during our time of uh, on the balance of life, and I put the date next to it. Because at the end, I'm going to ask for all of the key phrases to be sent, emailed, and we're going to pick randomly a person who can give us all of the key phrases and we're going to be a blessing unto them. But our key phrase for today is life. L-I-F-E. Here's what we're doing for the month of September. We are being a blessing to you, our listening audience, our listening ministry family. And we are accepting the first two emails that will give us our key phrase for that day. All you have to do is email us. There is no financial obligation to you whatsoever. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. We're taking the first two emails who can give us our key phrase for today. You will be notified if you are one of those winners. And then we will ask for your mailing address. You have the option of having one of our recent book applications, uh, publications, excuse me, mailed directly to you, or you can get a PDF copy or a gift from our product line. All right. So we will say the key phrase two more times today. And we're looking for the first two emails. Now, if you have already been notified so far this month that you are a winner, then that excludes you from, you know, winning again. But there will be other opportunities in the months ahead for you to win something else. Uh, we just want to be a blessing unto you. We appreciate you allowing us to share words of encouragement with you. Here at the balance of life. Yesterday we uh, shared a passage of scripture which is found in Daniel the 12th chapter. Also in the 10th chapter where it began to talk about where Daniel had went on a fast and was praying. And Gabriel let him know that the moment from the time that he 
set himself to be chastened, meaning submissive to the uh, to know and to hear from God, to pray about what was going on. That an answer was released, but the enemy, a spirit over Persia, the king of Persia, fought against the angel, Gabriel, in delivering the answer. In the New Testament, we're taught that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. Also, we are taught that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And so just as there were holy angels assigned to us personally, as well as to demographic areas, there are demonic, dark spirits that are assigned to areas so sometimes when we're praying about something and we know that all things are in God's time the enemy will try to hold up that response that answer to frustrate the believer to give up on waiting on God but we must continue to wait and hold fast the reason why I wanted to bring in Daniel 10 is so that we will know about the times that we're in. As also in Daniel 12, 12 and 9, it says, And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. That's why I said what's going on now I believe it, this is a part of God's manifestation. Somebody was led, and when I say somebody, I don't mean just one person, during a specific time, was praying about truth and revelation, uncovering. And this is the manifestation of it. It is also really shedding light on who is confessing that they are believers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because from what I have seen, and I can't speak for anybody else, but when I look at what's on in the headlines and comments of individuals who have been sharing the gospel for decades and that they use the podium as an opportunity to talk about politics. No. The podium, the altar of the holy Christian church is for the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is not an opportunity to talk about what's going on in politics or in the world or that's no. That is a time of teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what that's for. So we have to pray. It's a time like never before to really be in a place of prayer parents I can't stress this enough grandparents pray keep our children covered pray ye one for another don't let the sun go down on your wrath But pray pay attention to what's going on and so it and here's another thing that's happening so that we're distracted from what we should be praying for something else will hit the news 
which will distract the individual from praying. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. I want to share our key phrase for today. Life, L-I-F-E, life. We're looking for the first two emails to uh, send us our phrase for today. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. It's our month of giving. We're looking for the first two emails to let us know our key phrase. No financial obligation to you whatsoever. We will notify you if you are one of two of our winners for today. And today is September the 18th, 2024. After you've been notified, if you are a winner, then we will ask you for your mailing address, in which we will mail you out a book from our recent publications. We do have a publishing division of Angel Ferguson Ministries. We have been in the publishing business well over 20 years. Hope and Truth Magazine is uh, well over 20. Last year we did celebrate a 20 year anniversary of making Hope and Truth Magazine uh, printable. I remember when I got uh, the word for that, I was sitting uh, in a service actually here in New Jersey many, many years ago. And I heard the words hope and truth and I wrote it down. I had one of those um, calendars, folded calendars that you put in your purse. And I wrote that down and I said, what am I supposed to do with that? And that is how Hope and Truth magazine came about. And so we have a very extensive publishing department. We actually publish our own curriculum for the College of Ministry and Mentoring Programs. So one of the books that you could possibly win would come from the School of Ministry. And so I'm going to say our key phrase one more time. Life. L-I-F-E. Life. All right. Uh, before I go any further, just a reminder, we are starting a new um, class and it is on the Ascension Gifts. It's not a new class for us to teach. We will uh, start a, uh, a new enrollment of students and that is going to be November the 2nd through January the 3rd. Uh, it is the overview of the Ascension Gifts. And yes, there is a textbook to go along with it. If you would like to register for uh, the next uh, upcoming class of the Ascension Gifts, email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com and uh, we'll take care of getting you registered. So excited about that uh, and the curriculum that we are able to offer. Visit us on our website at www.angelferguson-ministries.com for a full list of the courses that we offer. If you are a ministry or a school yourself and you would uh, like to get some curriculum, uh, email us and uh, we'll see about what we can do to assist you with getting some curriculum from our publishing division. All right, I want you to continue to pray. Pray without ceasing. Pay attention to the times. Uh, don't be blinded, don't be fooled, and do not become distracted. Pray for those. Don't pick sides, stand on the side of righteousness. Because when evil is at work, you can't pick sides. Righteousness is the side that we're supposed to be on. Allow the Lord to lead and guide you, direct you in your path. Remember to pray ye one for another that we all may be healed. That's right. I love you all. Have a blessed day in the Lord. We'll talk soon.